Oh, shipmates, come gather and join in my ditty of a terrible battle that happened of late. Let each Union tar shed a tear of his pity when he thinks of the once gallant Cumberland's fate. The eighth day of March told a terrible story when many a brave tar to this world bid adieu. Our flag, it was wrapped in a mantle of glory by the heroic deeds of the Cumberland crew. On that ill-fated day, about ten in the morning, the sky, it was cloudless and bright shone the sun. The drums of the Cumberland sounded a warning that told every seaman to stand by his gun. For an ironclad frigate down on us came bearing High up in the air her base rebel flag flew An emblem of treason she proudly was wearing Determined to conquer the Cumberland crew Now up spoke the captain with stern resolution Saying boys of this monster now don't be afraid We'll swear to maintain our beloved constitution And to die for our country, we are not afraid We'll fight for our union, our cause it is glorious By the stars and the stripes we will ever stand true We'll sink at our quarters, our conquer victorious He was answered by cheers by the Cumberland crew our noble ship fired, huge guns, dreadful thunder, our broadsides like hail on the rebel did pour. The people did gaze on, struck with terror and wonder, as the shot struck her side and glanced harmlessly o'er. The pride of our navy could never be daunted, though the decks with the dead and the wounded did strew. The star-spangled banner, how proudly it flaunted, it was nailed to the mast by the Cumberland crew. They fought us three hours with stern resolution till these rebels found cannon would never decide for the flag of secession had no power to quell them though the blood from our scuppers did crimson the tide. She struck us some midships, our flank she did sever, her sharp iron prow pierced our noble ship through, and they cried as they sank in the dark rolling river, we'll die at our guns, cried the Cumberland crew. Slowly she sank in the dark rolling waters, their voices on earth will be heard nevermore. They'll be wept by Columbia's brave sons and fair daughters, may their blood be avenged on Virginia's old shore. And if there are sailors in battle assemble, God bless our dear banner, the red, white, and blue. Beneath its proud folds will cause tyrants to tremble, or sink at our guns like the Cumberland crew. Last Monday morning, just at the break of day, when the good ship called the Cumberland lay anchored on her way. The man up on her lookout to those below did say, I see something like a house top on our lee where she does lay. The captain grabbed his telescope and he gazed out over the blue. Then he turned and spoke to his brave and loyal crew. That thing out yonder floating. That looks like a turtle's back It's that infernal rebel steamer And they call her Merrimack Our decks were cleared for action And the guns were pointed true Still she kept on coming Across the water blue Still she kept on coming Till no distance from its heart 
She sent a ball of humming steel the beat of many a heart. It was then we fired our broadside into her ribs of steel. Yet no break in her iron made no damage did she fear. To at length that rebel pirate unto our captain spoke. Strike down your Union colors or I'll sink your Yankee boat. Tones of thunder to that rebel pirate said, My men are brave and loyal, they're true to every man. Before I strike my colors, you may sink me in the sand. Then the Merrimack, she left its for a hundred yards or more. Then with a whistle screaming out on her wooden side, she bore. She struck at that Tsar midship, her ram came crashing through. The water came a pouring in on the brave and loyal crew. Well, our captain turned unto his men, and to them he did say, I'll never strike these colors while the Cumberland rides away. I'll go down with my gallant ship to meet a watery grave. But for you, my loyal comrades, you may seek your lives to save. They swore they never would leave him, and they manned their guns afresh. They poured broadside after broadside till the water reached their breast. Then they sank far down, far down in the watery deep. The stars and stripes still flying from their mainmast highest peak.